for this T28. This thing is sick. Bang. Cute. I flew one of those last summer. Cool. So, the plan for today was to do crosswind landings. Um, and the forecast said it was going to be perfect for that. It was going to be like 15, gust 20, and like 45 degree angle from the runway. But, I got here and there's like no wind. So, instead I'm going to do a quick cross country flight. Um, but I'm going to track VORs along the way for navigation. Um, and show you how I do that. So yeah, you never thought you'd be disappointed that there's no wind. And I'm not really, it's just change of plans. Uh, which is totally fine. I got my flight plan here. Take off. We'll head south-ish. Um, join this um, Victor 336 southbound from the Falcon, or southeastbound from the Falcon VOR. Then we'll turn eastbound, intercept our, I don't know what radial that is, outbound from the Hugo VOR, but that's going to be, we're going to track that inbound to Lyman Airport, do a touch and go there. Head eastbound, intercept Victor 19 or 169 inbound to Thurman VOR. Then we'll do uh, looks like Victor 4 uh, outbound from Thurman VOR. Then we'll, we'll join Victor 263 outbound from Akron VOR. Um, from there, join Victor 611 inbound to the Greeley VOR for only a couple miles and we'll turn back westbound. Don't take any of what I do in this video as instructional. I'm not a flight instructor, but I'm just going to show you what I do and how I do it. Um, and if you are a flight instructor and I'm doing something wrong, let me know. I'd love to know. So we'll get the weather here. Hello, Air and Space Port Information, Papa 2047 Zulu, wind calm, United States available on flight service frequencies. Advise on this contact to you at Papa. Alright, before taxi, parking brake is off, radio transponder on set 1200 lights as required, got them all on, ADS record, we did that, altimeter, we set that, taxi diagram is open. Spaceport ground, Musketeer 3638, Quebec is at Alpha 7, information Papa, VFR southbound. Number 3638, Quebec, Spaceport ground, runway 26, taxi via Alpha 7, Alpha. Alpha 7 Alpha, runway 26, Musketeer 3638, Quebec. So, to set the VOR, let's see, what radial is that outbound? So it's going to be the 127 radial outbound from Falcon. So we are here. Our first course is the 127 radial outbound, or Victor 336 from Falcon VOR. So in order to tune in Falcon VOR, we're going to go over here, 116.3. Flip-flop it. Pull the eye dent, turn the volume up. We'll see if we can even reach it on the ground here. Yes, we can. Once it plays again. Good. So we can turn that off. All right, so now that one's inactive. So now we come over to our VOR here. And since we are outbound, it will be the 127 radial that we're going to fly. So we'll turn this till it gets to 127. Cool. So once we're in the air, it's going to show that we're... Since we'll be headed southbound from the airport, it's going to show that the course is to our right. Needle's going to be the right. Once we start coming close to the course, this needle right here will start moving. And then once it's centered, it shows we're on course. And once we're on course, we need to fly that heading 127 on our heading. And that'll give us, um, it, theoretically, in a zero wind environment, that's what, um, that would keep you on that course. Attention all aircraft, please. Cape back now. Current altimeter 290 wind 32012, gust 18. Oh, well look at that. Our wind is back. Okay, so what I'm going to do, um, the wind just picked up like it was predicted, just later than it was predicted. Um, but because I already changed my plans, I'm already prepped for this next flight. I'm going to continue with this flight just so I don't change super fast and just confuse my brain. So I'm still planning on this, but now there is wind. So I'm going to show you how I do a crosswind takeoff in this airplane. It's 320, looks basically direct crosswind at 12, gusting 18, which is actually perfect for crosswinds. Basically, for normal takeoff, on a roll, we're going to hold a full right aileron, use a rudder to keep on centerline. Um, basically do everything else as normal, just making sure you track centerline. Um, once I rotate, 
or as you speed up, we'll have to slowly decrease the amount of aileron. Um, once you rotate, um, you want to point the nose into the wind a little bit, so you're crabbing level of wings, um, so you hold that extended center line. So 3638 Quebec, Space Force Tower on departure left turn not approved. Runway 26 wind 300 one two gust one nine are clear for takeoff. Get on center line. Heels to the floor. We'll go full power. Engine gauges are green. 60 knots. 65 as we rotate. Right wheel, left wheel will come up first. Point to the wind. Hold our center line, which I did decently there. Climb out about 75. So on my flight plan, I have this fix hunt in an intersection. I'm not actually going to go to that because I have no way of identifying it apart from my iPad. I'm just going to head southbound until I intercept that uh, track, which is going to take a minute. Okay, so basically now what I'm looking for, this needle on the right is going to come in to the center. Once it's about, um, each little slash here um, means two degrees. So once it's about four degrees off, I'll start turning inbound to our 127 heading. So it's a 127 radial. I want about a 30 degree intercept. Four, two, eight, so I'm going to fly. Two, six, um, about a 160 heading to intercept it. All right, there's our needle is alive now. See how the needle's slowly moving in. It's a little hard to tell because the airplane's pretty slow. I right, take it back. It's about to reach four degrees off. Um, well, since my airplane is slow, I'll start intercepting it when it's at two degrees off. Okay, there's four degrees off. Okay, there's two degrees off course. So now I'm gonna start turning to a 127 heading. All right. 127 heading, leveled out. Now our needle's almost in the center. I uh, turned in a little early, that's okay. Now I'll just, it's showing I'm slightly left of course, so I'll move back until it's centered. We're holding that course. Now we'll just adjust for wind to, and find a heading that holds that needle in the center. And one thing about VORs, typically you'd have two VORs, um, you have the course you're flying in the main one, and then the course you're planning to fly in the second one. That way, you're flying the main one. Once you intercept the, you watch the second one to intercept it. Then once you have that intercepted, move that course into the main one, then program the next into the backup. Now, my second VOR um, is mounted in the airplane, secure and everything, but they never actually put a power cable in, so it's never actually been off. Uh, in operation, so it's placarded inoperative right now. I'll show you. It's a perfectly good instrument. It was rebuilt and everything, brand new. It just doesn't have a power cable. So this is the only VOR I have, but we can make it work. This is not an IFR bird, so it's not a big deal. Okay, so about halfway along this course now. And this course goes straight to the next VOR that I need. So I'm about halfway, so I'm going to switch to the next VOR. To do that, I'll put 112.1, uh, one, one, flip it, identify this, make sure the Morse code matches. It does. It's a 312 inbound to this VOR. Uh, because we're flying inbound, we want to make sure our CDI is set to one, um, the, the opposite of that inbound, the heading we need to fly to go towards it. Um, an easy way to do that, subtract 200, add 20, or add 200, subtract 20. So since it's a 312 radial, I'm going to subtract 200. That's a 112, add 20. Uh, 132 is what I'm going to set in the VOR. And then now we are tracking inbound 312 radial to Hugo VOR. Okay, now that we're eastbound. I already have that next VOR identified that we need, so I'll flip to that frequency. The course we will be flying, or we'll be intercepting, the 188 radial. Um, and since we're flying inbound, we have to be um, the opposite heading of that, which is going to be 080. So I'll put 080 into our course here. Okay, I got our frequency tuned in. Got it identified. We're headed this way, gonna intercept this course. I've got 080 tuned in. Now we're just waiting for the needle to come in. And needle's vibrating a little bit right now. That just means it's out of bounds. Um, 
And once it stabilizes, you know it's alive. And you should expect for it to come back in soon. Okay, my needle is almost in. I'm going to start turning to a heading of 0, zero 8. Once I get to that heading, should be roughly on course if I keep try and keep a standard rate turn going. I'll do my best. See the needle still coming in. I might end up being a little bit early. That's okay. Since I'm a little bit early, I'll fly about a 015 heading until that needle comes in fully. Then I'll fly 008 in order to track that course. Okay, now the needle's centered. Now I can fly my 008 heading and track this radial inbound. So this needle's centered here. I'm tracking 00, well, it should be technically 008, but because of wind, uh, I have to do a little bit to the right in order to hold course. But basically, I'll fly along that path until I fly over the VOR. Once I fly over the VOR, this will flip, the needle will go away, the flag, that little arrow will go down, it'll be a from flag, and that means I'll be over the VOR. From there, I'll tune in the next, the next course, which is going to be 296. Then intercept that outbound, and then once we have that, we'll program the next VOR, so on and so forth. So if you look down on the ground there, that's our VOR station. We can actually see it, which is pretty cool. Oftentimes you can't find them, but the needle's getting super sensitive now. We'll wait for it to flip, and then program 296 in here and fly that. Super sensitive, see the needle's moving a lot. And I'm not moving, which means it's about to flip. There it goes. Cone of confusion. Now it's coming back in. Now we're from the station. So I'm going to program in 296. Right there. We'll turn left. To a little more than a 296 because we're going to have to um, intercept it. Then we'll intercept that course. It's going to be super sensitive since we're super close to the station. So stabilize needles. Alive. Now we'll turn to our 296 heading. Might be early th or late this time, yep, because we're so close to the station, super sensitive, so I didn't anticipate quite enough. That's okay. But basically, I'll re-intercept this correctly and then fly that outbound. I'll keep it at two notches of flaps to do a normal landing. Still right on our speed, right on our glide path. Nice and smooth, a little bit flat. Nice and smooth though. Get the arrow braking going. Nice wheelie. Expect Alpha 7 turn off. Let's get to your 3A Quebec. If able, turn left Alpha 7. Taxi straight ahead to the ramp, monitor ground. Left Alpha 7, straight ahead to the ramp, monitor ground, Musketeer 3-8, Quebec. I want to thank you guys for joining again today. Hopefully you enjoyed. Once again, I'm not an instructor, so don't take what I did as an instructional thing. Um, it's just how I do it. And if I'm doing it wrong, tell me. I want to know. If you can't get better unless you know what you're doing wrong. And with that, thanks for flying along with me. See you in the next one.